as you can see, the uh, hinges, the pins are, or the bushings right here are no good, so. I am just gonna be taking these out and hopefully you might learn something from this. Let's do it. But yeah, if, if you wanted to take that out, use a breaker bar, it's in that position. And you pretty much have to go on from there and pry it off. Uh, there's different ways of prying it off, different angles, but I found one specific way. I might show you that if I feel like it. Now to take these, uh, these things off. I'm using this flathead and a hammer. I hammered it already. But uh, I guess you go all around it and try to break it off or pry it off. Um, the kit should come with... Where is it? Okay, right there, those, the silver ones, it should come with it when you buy a kit or whatever. But yeah, don't worry if these break, so... Can it come off with your hand? Nope, gotta keep prying it. There we go. Okay, that one's off. Let's see. Take it out. Maybe gotta jack it up more. Ugh. Either I'm doing this right or I'm doing this wrong. It's getting there. Okay, so let me try that again. Man, that thing is really shitty. Ugh, let me see. moving a little bit. Let me try, try it again. There we go. Where'd it go? Right there. So that one's out. That crappy bushing. So crappy. And uh, I guess I gotta do the bottom one, but I gotta be careful. If I'm not, this thing's just gonna collapse. Oh well. Oh yeah, I forgot about these wires. I gotta be careful with that. I'm probably just gonna clip them or something. Just better make sure they're not any live wires or anything. Because I'm probably gonna delete that speaker because I don't have a radio. But yeah, I guess the next thing to do is uh, take the bottom one out. So I've been trying to hammer the bottom over here. Uh, haven't had much effect because my hammers are, even with the tiny hammer, it still was enough. I didn't really have much room to, or enough room to hit. But uh, I found another way is you take that flathead again, take the hammer, you hit it in there a little bit, and you start prying it. So let me see if I can show you it doing anything. It's moving a bit. Fingers crossed this works. Oh. Let's go with this. Where's it now? Oh my god, it's almost out. Yeah, it's very hard to do this with two hands. Well, with one hand. My bad. But yeah, I think I'm gonna try to. I guess I'm going to have to do this off camera. Alright, so I finally got that one off. Alright, so yeah. I'm going to guess I have to take this off. Uh, like, separate the door just to get these, uh, these little bushings. They have them on the top and the bottom. So, yeah. I'll see what happens. 20 minutes later. Alright guys, so yeah, sorry I couldn't get most of the footage. My dad came because... He wanted to help, so when I pulled out the camera, he kind of got mad because he doesn't want to be on camera. But yeah, it's in. Um, 
so yeah we to get these bushings and you're gonna have to press them uh, at one point I couldn't get my clamp or any clamp so here's a little DIY that will be coming up soon so here's the dangerous part putting the uh, putting the spring back in so in order to do this I used a vice clamp that big gigantic thing that that uh clamps down on the spring and then you take coat hanger wire you wrap it around as you can see it's has a lot of tension right now so you got to be careful uh, and wrap it around so it doesn't fly out so I'm gonna just gonna try to fit this back in here the best I can let's see three days later so it's been about a week now um, uh, I couldn't get most of the video because it took a lot to get that spring in there it was a pain in the ass uh, I needed it quite required two people to get it in me and my dad both had to get uh, work together to get it in but yeah but now the door closes properly it's the light uh, just the light two fingers But, uh, yeah, that spring was a bitch to get in. I, I don't care how easy those tutorial videos on other people's channels say how easy it is. It's not. I was going to do the other side, but that side has no door uh, hinge problem. Those hinge pin problems. But, yeah, it's good. Uh, thanks for watching.